Hey, thanks for stopping by today. We're going to talk about something completely different today, something that caught me completely off guard. Um, back in the first part of the year, there was an extended power outage here, and I thought to myself, hey, I'll fire up my brand new Honda EU2200, plug my natural gas furnace into it, and I'll have heat for the extended power outage. Well, to my surprise, it doesn't work that way. It's not that easy, meaning that I plugged in my furnace, my natural gas forced air furnace, into this brand new generator, and what would happen is the furnace would only go through about half of its cycle and it wouldn't get to the combustion cycle. Um, that's where the fail safes are built in apparently and what it is is your printed circuitry in your furnace is looking for a ground potential, meaning that it's tied to ground uh, like you're normally uh, plugged into the house. These have a floating neutral on them, so there is no reference to ground. And so what it would do is it would give me a, an error on the furnace saying that there was a polarity issue. Um, I've heard of others where it actually gives you a ground error. But the bottom line is, if you think you're going to just take a newer furnace, a forced air furnace, and plug it into your generator, especially Hondas, because they have a floating neutral, it's not going to work. Now there's a very simple, easy fix for this. But if you don't know what it's called or how to approach it, um, it might catch you off guard and you're going to be in a panic because now you don't have heat. And so we'll talk about that today. I'll also mention that this video is strictly for information. I take no responsibility to anything that would happen if you would do this process and something would happen. Again, this video is just for information. If you're not comfortable with this process, certainly don't do it. Um, there's not a lot of resources on YouTube I found for, for this particular problem. And so my goal for this video is just to bring a little bit more awareness that um, just because you got a, a nice generator and if it's got a floating neutral, don't think for a minute that you're going to just plug in your furnace and it's going to take off. Doesn't work that way. Usually if your uh, generator has a floating neutr neutral, it will say somewhere on the faceplate. Again, this is a brand new generator and you can see right in the middle there, you can see where it says floating, uh, neutral floating. And so if that's the case, uh, and most inverter type generators, whether it's a Honda or not, have a floating neutral. And so this is something you want to confirm uh, before you follow this process. If it doesn't have a floating gener or excuse me, a floating neutral, um, you might not have to do this process. And so what it is, it's very simple. We're going to uh, look at a grounding bond plug and what it looks like and what it does. Once you've identified that your generator has got a floating neutral on it, like most all Hondas and several other inverter type generators, you're going to want to get yourself a neutral ground bonding plug. You can order them on Amazon. I will show you a picture up here. Uh, they're real simple to either make or you can buy one. They're anywhere from 12 to 15 bucks. And realistically, the only thing this plug is doing is it's tying together the neutral and the ground. There's a jumper wire inside this plug. And again, I'll show you a picture for reference where they've wired the neutral and the ground together. And what that does is when I take this neutral uh, ground bonding plug and I plug it into the generator and I leave it in there. So I'm gonna plug this one in one spot and then my uh, extension cord going to my furnace is gonna go in this other slot. And what that does is that ties those two together and it satisfies the ground requirement uh, that your furnace is going to have. Um, I've tried this on my furnace and several other furnaces on friends and stuff that I've told about and they seem to all work fine. Once you do this, then you're, you have no problems with uh, running your generator. One of the things that I love about this brand new Honda is it's got a phone app to tell you how many watts, you know, different things are, are being, uh, are consuming when you're running your generator. And I was pretty shocked to find out that with my furnace running, I was only consuming about 415 watts worth of power. With this 2200, that means that I could probably run a few other things if I had to dur during an extended power outage. So anyway, um, 
That's what it is. I plug the neutral ground bonding plug into one of the uh, into one of the receptacles on the generator, run out my uh, extension cord to my furnace on the other, and it seems like everybody's happy. Well, as you can see, it didn't take much of a solution to make all this work. A simple three-prong male plug, uh, put in a jumper, away you go between the neutral and the ground, and uh, you're off to the races. If you're not comfortable with doing that, you can always purchase one of these plugs on Amazon or places like that, and it's called a neutral ground bonding plug. That's what I had troubles uh, because I didn't know what this thing was supposed to be called, and um, I couldn't pull it up. So anyway, that way, and I would sure check this out before you need it. Um, hope this information was helpful. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so before, su subscribe if you can. And if you have the ability, hit that thanks button, contribute to the channel. I'd sure appreciate it. Thanks and have a great day.